one of the real advantages to the vapor extraction unit is um, pre-repair monitoring of leaks. Not necessarily on any specific type of pipe, but um, say under a concrete street, different cities have different paving requirements. Um, by going out and monitoring the leak prior to repair, you're able to draw the migrating gas back to the source of where it's leaking. By doing that, you're able to pinpoint the actual leak location. For those leaks that have uh, widespread migration areas, this is very important. By going directly down on, on the leak, you're basically saving dry hole cost, which dry hole cost is when you break paving, go down to the pipe, and that's not where the leak was, and you have to move down 20 or 30 feet and keep breaking till you find it. By using the vapor extraction unit and, and, and pinpointing the leak back to the source, you're able to eliminate all those dry holes. The cost for a dry hole is really dependent upon your city's pavement requirements. Like here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, some cities require us to replace a 10 by 20 panel, which can cost two to $3,000 to replace. So it's really based, cost savings is really based on actual paving repair cost. In the gas business, some leaks are easy to find, but those leaks that have uh, large migration patterns uh, that's underground, those are the ones that are most difficult to find because you basically have concentrations of gas in a widespread area. When you're able to actually pinpoint the exact location and go directly down on it, then you're, that, that produces a considerable cost savings. Some of those leaks that have large spread migration areas, you may work two, three, four, even five days or longer. Uh, in trying to actually pinpoint and repair the leak. You know, based on your actual crew costs for your company, each day that, that you don't have to be out there hunting for the leak and actually repairing the leak is dollars saved. In determining your actual savings per leak repair, it's really based on your actual crew costs. In Texas, around $1,300 a day, $1,500 a day is some of our cost uh, for labor uh, associated with uh, leak repair. And as I mentioned earlier, each day that you don't uh, dig dry holes, that's that $1,500 a day savings that you, you'll actually experience in your own operations. You do a few of those over a 12 month period, obviously the VEU is going to pay for itself in the first 12 months of use. By using the VEU, you can reduce the amount of time you're investing on uh, extracting uh, residual gas 10 to 15 times faster than what you can uh, use the old style. This saves tremendous dollars in the amount of time that, you're, that you have invested and your visual exposure to the general public on how long you're going to be out there. What you used to could do with the old Ventura tube type extraction device that might have taken you four or five days to accomplish, you can accomplish in one day with a VE. All utility diesels see benefit from the VEU that has any type of gas pipe that might have a leak associated with it where the gas migrates uh, under buildings, uh, in the wall-to-wall -wall paving areas that creates an environment that's difficult to actually pinpoint the leak itself. Whether it be on bare steel or coated steel, or even a small leak on polyethylene pipe. We all know that when um, 
you have a leak in a wall-to-wall -wall paving area and there's no place for the gas to migrate out of the ground and vent, then that gas is trapped under that paving. paving. And so by being able to actually go in and suck that gas out of the ground and bring it back to the actual source of the leak, you're saving tremendous amounts of time and dollars associated with hunting for those leaks. They embraced the technology from day one. Uh, they really saw it as, as an advantage to uh, making their work life a little bit easier by using uh, the VU and, and the applications we've previously described. We started out with five prototype units here uh, at Atmos Energy. I think we're up to about 10 to 12 units now. And as uh, a unit is borrowed or sent to another district or region or area, and they see the true advantages of it, then everybody wants one. And, and the employees learn more each and every time they use the, the units themselves. Obviously, there's some, there's some application practices that, that the employees have learned uh, in the actual use of the VEU. An example of that might be um, if you have gas close to a building, you certainly don't want to set your probes to start with uh, up close to the building. You want to set uh, your probes 15 to 20 feet away so that you're drawing gas out from underneath the building and gas from maybe a main or leaking service at the same time by putting your probes, and our employees learned this, by putting your probes at the building itself. Yes, you are sucking gas out from under a building, but the VEU is so powerful that you're also sucking leaking gas, uh, you know, from the main that may be 50, 75 foot away, even if you've repaired that leak. So by moving back away from uh, the actual building where you might have gas trapped, uh, it's one of the things that our employees learned relatively quick in the application of the units themselves. From a safety perspective, you know, we've all experienced um, those applications or, or those type circumstances where we may have um, gas underneath a structure or, or a business or someone's home. And it may take a few days to extract that gas. Um, and you may have to put that customer in a hotel, them and their family, and pay for meals and, and their expenses while you're, you're removing the gas out from under those homes. By using the VEU, you're able to do that so much faster uh, than you have in the past with the old Ventura tube type devices. Um, that you're, in, you're, you're removing the gas out from under the home quicker. You're not out the additional day's expenses of hotel bills, but you're also, by removing it faster, ensuring the safety of, of that home or that structure. They are outside the box thinkers. Um, they are great to do business with. They understand uh, technology and innovation and creativity. I could not have picked a better company than MBW to build the vapor extraction unit.